Aaron, you know, along with uh, it feels like the rest of the world, we remain fixated on developments for the, this mega ship and, and what happens to it. Is there now meaningful progress? Do we have a timeline as to when we might see it finally freed? Well, we're going to find out. And what we do know is that the next 24 hours are going to be uh, crucial to freeing this uh, giant vessel that has, um, you know, really had this major impact on, on global trade. What has happened is the rudder and the propeller of the vessel are fully functional, and they're expected to provide some additional support um, during an effort um, that's expected to be made about uh, in about three or four hours um, around 4 or 5 a.m., um, in Egypt uh, when they'll try to refloat the vessel again. Um, you know, but, but progress continues to be made. You know, the diggers have removed about 27,000 cubic meters of sand, um, you know, uh, around the vessel. Um, so, so, you know, they, they are making progress. One of, the, um, one of the people involved in the salvage said that he puts it at about a 50-50 chance that it will be refloated um, during this next effort um, expected uh, to, to, to begin uh, in three to four hours. So we have seen uh, several vessels now being redirected around southern Africa. What do we know of the global trade implications right now? Yeah, it's just having a, a massive impact. I mean, there's about 450 vessels waiting uh, right now to transit the Suez Canal. Um, like you said, many others have, have diverted, uh, you know, for a much longer journey around the southern tip of Africa, which, of course, um, delays um, uh, shipments and, and, and raises costs. Um, you know, this is such a crucial global artery for, for supply chains. About 12 percent of global trade goes through the Suez Canal. You know, you've had companies like Caterpillar said they're considering airlifting products as necessary. Uh, I IKEA is, is looking at options to ensure availability of some of those products. Um, you know, Amazon um, has has products that that are um, caught up in, in 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 the slowdown. So it just has this massive, massive knock-on effect throughout markets. And I think everyone is watching for any progress and 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 and, and to, to to see once this ship is um, is freed and then they can begin getting moving the backlog of vessels through the Suez Canal.